How do you make an octopus laugh? With tentacles. What kind of hair do oceans have? Wavy. What? what? It was really bad for her. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nick. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not new here, welcome back. So today we are getting into the brand new movie, The Deep House by director Alexandre Bustillo. I think I said that correctly, but if I didn't, forgive me, I'm an idiot. So this movie, the only thing that I know about it is that it is considered aquatic horror. Now, aquatic horror is one of my favorite subgenres and also one of my most hated subgenres because I am absolutely terrified of like the ocean and deep sea stuff and drowning. Absolutely not. I have a friend who is huge into scuba diving and he tells me all these horrifying stories about things that he like going into like boats and shit no I don't know if y'all remember the absolute gem of a movie Deep Blue Sea but I saw that in theater so little tiny old me sitting in that theater and that scene where the shark throws one of the scars guards at the window and then the, the whole thing breaks No. According to the interwebs, while diving in a remote French lake, two YouTubers, oh, why? Who specialize in underwater exploration videos discover a house submerged in deep waters. Their dive turns into a nightmare when they discover that the house was the scene of atrocious crimes. I have not seen anything by this director before, but I know that he directed a movie called Inside, which is a movie that comes up on a lot of lists, have been recommended to me a lot. If you would like to see me react to that, let me know down in the comments. Before we get into this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification button so that you can get notifications for when I upload a new video. <sighs> Let's do this. We're going to check out an old abandoned building that we found. It's an abandoned sanatorium that locals claim is haunted. Is this found footage? Ooh, this place is so cool looking. Like, I know that this is like a total like white person thing to do, go and explore this type of shit and then end up getting murdered. But like, no lie, I kind of like doing this in real life. From a photography standpoint, I love taking pictures of like abandoned stuff. A nurse poisoned several children before taking their own life. The sanatorium was closed down just after. Ever since, supposedly, the nurse haunts the hallways and rooms. Well, I wonder if that's real. Why she did it. What was that? It's it's never just the wind. It's never just the wind. Nope, nope. Now you got demonic sigils and shit. Well, see, you know, the difference is like, while I like to take pictures and stuff of abandoned stuff, I'm not trying to like go inside unless I somewhat know that it's like safe. Cause I'm not trying to like fall through a floor or get stabbed by squatters or something. No, thank you. Maybe it's not phone footage or maybe it like cuts back and forth maybe. What was your time? Uh, I don't know, maybe three minutes. That's it? What do you mean that's it? I'm going scuba diving, not snorkeling. Oh, she was like testing how long she could hold her breath underwater? I wonder if that's gonna, probably, it'll probably come up later on. Wait a minute, she's like really concerned about how long she could hold her breath while she's smoking away on a cigarette? Doesn't that seem kind of, you know, counterintuitive or? And there's a wonderful river valley below. These are beautiful visuals, not like her... What is, she, is she pooping? Hey, what the fuck? Stop it! How many times can I do this? Did she even wipe? I mean, that's nasty. She don't love herself. Ooh, I like that shot a lot. 
That's beautiful. Yeah, I'm really digging this opening credit sequence. It's very, very well shot. It said edited by Baxter. I don't know if that's like a company, somebody with one name, like Cher, I don't know, but whoever edited that, chef's kiss. You can notice in the architecture the small window up by the attic, which would often be used as a storeroom. And they would have often had a joist and a, and a pulley system to bring the bags of grain up and stored in the attic. Oh my God. I guess they never heard of it. Well, actually, they said that on peut pas le rater. So we can't see it? No, we can't miss it. Anyway. That looks a lot less ominous than I thought. You're acting like a little baby. You're just relieved you won't have to dive. Sorry. Look, I, I, I know you trained really hard for this. Wasn't she just holding her breath in a bathtub? Is that what we call training these days? Because if so, I don't know if you're exactly qualified for the job, buddy. It tells me there's nothing but ruins and shit down there. Apparently all the houses were destroyed before the flood, so... If only we could have found out beforehand. Well, this part of the lake's not worth our time. Oh, here we go. Pierre's offered to take us to an isolated arm of the lake that runs deep into the woods. Apparently it's very difficult to access, and according to him, a proper secret spot. Listen to your girlfriend. Come on, you're being annoying. There's a perfectly preserved house. How would a house be perfectly preserved underneath water like that? Wouldn't it eventually degrade and break down? Also, so so we, there's a giant town that got covered by a lake during a, f or be became a lake during a big flood. I think I'm understanding that correctly. Also like finding some like random scuba diver person who's gonna offer you money to bring you to like a place you're not supposed to go. I saw 47 meters down. No. No, no. Oh, that is beautiful. Nice, a sticker. Cross of Nero symbolizes the death of Christendom. Those hippies didn't know that when they chose it as their symbol. I did not know that either. Not today, Satan. Not today. You've got 60 minutes of air, and you can hold your breath close to three. You've got this. We're going to be in and out, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get back to New York, we'll edit the footage. Once we reach our first million views, we're going straight to the Littlest Chapel in Vegas. Oh no. No, well, I mean, I this is still a hard no, hard no. But it's less of a hard no because it's like not in the ocean. But it's still a no. Ugh. Sound test. Say so. I just like, I felt my chest tighten already. Look, my fin! It's stuck. Come on, help me. Wait, just wait here and I'll come pick you up on the way back. She has been in the water less than 30 seconds and she's already gotten her fin thing impaled on something. She does not seem qualified to do this. Hey, look. It's a rover. It's in great condition. You ever see anything like it? It's fairly common in lakes. It's not seawater, you know? So if things are not in seawater, they're better able to be preserved? Is it because it's not, does it have something to do with the salt, I wonder? How deep does this lake go? It's so weird. All the fish have gone. Maybe the no trespassing sign was for them. Oh no, and there's a giant cross at the top of it, no. It's a crypt. Montinac. Private mausoleum in the garden. Must have been well off. What's wrong with the song? Turn it off. Oh no, there's demons down here. So wait, there's a crypt, for one. The fish aren't swimming near it. It's messing with the, the audio. Fuck this. It's steel. And sealed shut. It's alright. We'll find a way in. Let's split up. No! Uh, no! Horror Movie 101. Voila! <laughs> Jesus Christ. <sighs> My grandma had one just like that. That's so cool. I feel like... I don't know. I just didn't... I wouldn't expect all of these things to... Not that they're not like covered in like algae and, and gross stuff, but like everything just seems a little bit 
more well preserved than I would have anticipated. I mean, it's probably just because this is like Satan's underwater vacation home, but still. What did you say? Nothing. What? I heard a voice. It must have been interference, like long frequency, a radio or a plane or something. Did he just say that was interference from a plane? Uh? They're at the bottom of a lake. Tina, quick selfie for our followers. <sighs> Have to be in front of a dead animal. I don't like this place. I don't like it either. I love it. You know, in the beginning of the movie, the girlfriend seemed kind of cranky, so I had a feeling I wasn't gonna like her. But it's it's the boyfriend now. The boyfriend is getting on my damn nerves. How is this stuff not all decayed? Oh no, that's that no no. What? Look. Behind that. Is there a body? Get the f out. I feel like like go like being in a, a house like that underwater, but like being able to swim downward, like downstairs, like they just were, that would be extremely disorienting. What are those marks? They look like scratches. Like someone was trapped inside the house. <laughs> Was that a musical cue or was that an actual piano? How is that just floating like that? I'm detecting movement. It just stopped. Y'all, what's holding up the candlestick? It's literally just suspended in midair. It's not like floating in water. It's just suspended in midair. And nobody seems to be addressing it. Moving. I don't understand. I see nothing. Is there ghosts in this house? There's something very wrong with this place. And the shadow, the scratches on the door, the weird sounds. Everything's weird underwater. There's no such thing as haunted houses. Nothing new, nothing changed, same old shit. Same old fucking shit. Here we go, here we go. My least favorite thing about horror movies is these fuckers, the, the doubters, the I don't believe. No, no, no. She should just leave his ass down there and swim right back up to the surface. Go back to that town, get some more fresh fruit, and, and dip the fuck out, go home. And that is what I think they are. People posters. And it's all kids. What kind of freaks collect those? These are some devil worshippers, man. Here's the kitchen. See? See? Satan. Shit. What the hell was that? Jesus. See, like, this is the type of shit that my friend likes to do. More power to him, but I could not. Like, I can go underwater in a pool, and, like, I can go on, like, a lake on a boat, and I can jump off, like, you know, like, do a cannonball in the water. But that's it. And I'm not even just trying to, like, just sound scared. Like, I would be in full-on panic attack. There's a door behind it. Come on, Teeny. What if it's a secret room? What, uh, no! What if it's Jesus holding in the demons? Last room we explore. I promise. See, it's all like sooty, like when it's vi when visibility is low like that, I don't think you're supposed to, I don't know. I don't think you're supposed to go in if you have no visibility like that. What the fuck is that? I'm sorry, but what the f That's it, I'm out, we're going back up. Oh my God. Ben! We'll go, we'll go. Just a few more shots. No, you idiot. Go! Wait for me here. Okay. No, don't fucking wait for him. Ugh. No, no. Even if they were to immediately just turn around and make it out alive, she needs to break up with his ass because he is fucking annoying. Like, do you see this? Who are they? And how come they're intact? Why are you still down there? What happened? To, I'm gonna take a few more shots and then dip. Jesus, I'm so sorry. Fuck! Oh. No. Holy shit. Look at the way that that statue, the statue's like. I told you. 
I swear to God, if they try to lift up whatever the pentagram thing is and go down and explore. You are really dumb, for real. Ben, the couple, Ben, the couple disappeared. She's tampering in dioxided stuff. <laughs> Ooh, what happened? Oh my god, she got hooked. What is going on? I called for help and you didn't answer. I was right behind you. I was attacked. It was the chase. It was the chase. I was right here. Sorry, Faye. Sorry, Faye. Why? Why? Oh, oh no, no. They are well too, way well too preserved. It's the owners of the house. <gasps> That's suspicious. <laughs> you think? Yeah, y'all fuckers stay in there, okay? Put Jesus back up. Wait, did he tell her to take the tank off, like to disconnect it? Don't they have to go up at a certain speed in order to not get like a error embolism or something? Oh no, is she about to tweak out again? Don't read it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. You bastard. You're the Monte Dye son. Wait, the, the creepy ass tour guide was the their kid? Is he like feeding the parents are like demons or something? And he's like feeding them souls? Oh, yeah, because she didn't see you, you know, with the giant flashlight on her face. She definitely didn't see you. Ben, I'm here. I'm here, sweetheart. Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? It's leaking. What's going on? I'm better. I'm better now. Okay. Okay. Yep, he's possessed. Okay. You have 12%. I have 8% left. You'll die before me. How romantic. And where are you going? The cellar. Not the cellar, Ben. No. This guy, stop being concerned. Like, what? He has not shown absolutely anything, anything at all this entire film that anybody would be like, yeah, yeah, I want to follow you to the gates of hell. The locals came to avenge their dead children. They killed her in her own bed. What the fuck is that? Pierre managed to escape. What are you talking about? I don't care. I don't want to die here. Look, she said, she said, I don't care. And he's just a, Sarah, let me give you this really shitty exposition. No! No! Join us, Athena. Where the f*** is she now? Athena? Yes. Yes, my love, I'm here. What happened? Oh my god! What? what? Y'all, what is this movie though? Well now she's out of air so she's, she's extra f now. Well, now she's drowning. 
supposed to feel sorry for that bitch. I don't. Okay, so that was the deep house. First and foremost, I wanna, I wanna start by going through the things that I liked about the movie. The concept of the movie was a haunted house underwater. That concludes what I liked about this movie. And that's it for tonight. Thank you for coming. Really quick. Thank you all for coming. I just wanted to say really Dessert quick. wine is out. <laughs> Consuelo? Y'all, this movie was bad. The entire concept of this movie is two divers go and explore a abandoned house or something underneath a lake. The most interesting part of this film was everything up until these dumbasses get into the water to explore the lake. The characters were just so incredibly f***ing stupid, especially the boyfriend. The, the, the ghosts, the hauntings, they, there was nothing that was done with that that was remotely interesting or fresh or inventive or engaging. Oh, oh, this. Mm. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I hope for these actors' sakes that they got at least paid. They probably got like a lunch coupon and that was about it. But you know what? You can't win them all. For every, you know, fantastic horror movie, there's some shit horror movies, okay? And without the shit horror movies, how do you know what's good? Let me know what you thought. I will see you next time.